Hello everyone, welcome back to another video tutorial. Today, we're talking about, the golden glow, how gold nanoparticles produce heat. I selected this topic because photo-induced hyperthermia represents a minimally invasive and clinically tested cancer treatment. In this approach, photothermal agents transform light into heat through non-radiative decay, generating therapeutic heat. Gold nanoparticles have emerged as extensively studied materials for photo-induced hyperthermia. Notably, the recent achievement of clinical translation for gold-based photo-induced hyperthermia underscores the significance of comprehending how these nanoparticles generate heat under laser irradiation. Introduction When metal nanoparticles interact with light, a variety of phenomena unfold, including luminescence, scattering, and heat generation. In this discussion, our focus is on unraveling the intricacies of heat generation and understanding how this specific phenomenon occurs in the context of metal nanoparticles. Plasmonic nanoparticles have the remarkable ability to create nanoscale heat sources by converting light into heat when exposed to laser irradiation. This unique property is closely tied to the non-radiative characteristics stemming from the surface plasmon resonance effects exhibited by these particles. Let's break down the process further. Photothermal agents are stimulated by a femtosecond laser pulse, leading to the formation of a non-thermal electron distribution during dephasing, a process occurring over 10 to 100 femtoseconds. In the subsequent time frame of 100 femtoseconds to 1 picosecond, a thermal electron distribution emerges due to energy dispersion through electron-electron scattering. As this thermal distribution starts to form, electrons initiate the transfer of energy to the lattice through electron phonon coupling. Finally, the lattice phonon efficiently conveys the accumulated heat into the surrounding medium, a process spanning from 10 picoseconds to 1 nanosecond. This detailed series of actions showcases how plasmonic photothermal agents dynamically produce heat energy. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with another exciting topic. See you next time.